Welcome to part 26 of our B44.2 RC buggy build. And we're going to go ahead and work on creating the anti roll bar. And essentially, it's starting out with just the set screw. And we're going to just go ahead and put these in, in the uh, ball cups and start threading them in. So essentially, it's uh, just a lot of like twisting and turning and threading. Um, once again, I don't have a great tool for this, so I'm just using two pliers and I'm just trying my best not to scratch this stuff up too much. And I'm just kind of being a little creative with the way I'm getting these, these uh, anti-roll bar built. And just so you know, this is also a optional component. Uh, if you're a really good driver, you probably don't need these. I'm not such a great driver, so I'm totally building this out. So pretty much I'm just going to go ahead and push in this anti-bar pivot and just go ahead and just push that in there and I'm just using the clamp like that and just like so it goes right in and pretty cool. So this is actually going to go on that, on that sway bar area. So I just want to show you this is just the rear part of the buggy. Let me get the camera in focus and essentially this is just going to fit right in there. So it might be easier to see from this side. Here we go. Just show you that. Just just like that. You just push it right in. Same thing with the other side. We'll just go ahead and and go ahead and just push that in. I'm just going to give it a little slight nudge. There we are. And just a slight push. Okay, maybe just a little tap there. Come on. Yeah. And then we'll just gotta position this this sway bar there and the anti roll bar. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, screw this down and it's held together by a washer and a screw. And it's just that simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and the hardest part is actually just positioning the washer so that uh, it doesn't pop off as you're and, and it's uh, enough the washer is actually holding down that that uh, anti roll bar but there's a uh, there's a crevice and an indentation where the anti roll bar goes so it's kinda cool that it's uh, well thought out like that and let me just make sure that it's gonna work there so I'm going to go ahead and, and just kind of bend the anti-roll bar just a little bit. I don't want to flex it too much, but I want to make sure that it's it's a good and can actually go in there. There we are. And I'm going to just grab the other anti-roll bar area and just make sure that could go in there. That's good. And then you just take a little screw that that locking screw and and you just screw that all the way down and that should hold the anti roll bar in place pretty cool so let's go ahead and do this next we'll just go ahead and start screwing that in there we are and we just gotta go ahead and place in one more screw in the other side and we'll have our anti roll bar all done in a little bit and it's just that simple thanks for watching and it's working pretty cool too awesome